All right, so we are, uh, I am gonna go through the review with you guys now. Um, I am gonna go through every single question. However, um, some of these questions, uh, I'm gonna go through kind of quickly because we would have done these on class. All right, um, so for this one, the directions is just graph the following inequality. So what you will need to do in your test is first we look at the number that our inequality is set to. So in this case, it's negative two. Then we need to decide, is it going to be a, a closed or an open circle? It's going to be a closed circle. All right, you can do it above, you can do it below if you want here. I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna do them below. So that way you can see a little bit better. So it's gonna be a closed circle at negative two. X is greater than, well, all these numbers to the right of it are greater than negative two. So that will then be your answer here. All right, it's a closed circle because it's equal to, and it's going to the right because it's greater than. Remember, if your x, if your variable is on the left-hand side, so if you have negative two is less than or equal to x, you cannot just go by the way that you read the sign less than. You have to think about it in terms of your x. All right, so for this one, and also I'm not going to go through every question that was on the review. I just picked and chose a few of them. If there's some that you don't understand um, that are not on here that were on the review, just reach out to me. All right, so for here where you have one. So I'm going to go to one and it's an open circle because it's just less than not equal to. It's less than, so that means all these numbers to the left are less than. All right, so for this question, it was right in inequality for the given graph. So since I know that it is an open circle, I know it's going to be either less than or greater than. Since our arrow is going to the left, I know it's going to be less than. So X or whatever variable you choose is less than. And then it's set or put on negative three, so X is less than negative three. All right, here, same thing. It's a colored circle, so I know it's gonna be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Since it's going to the right, I know it's gonna be greater than or equal to, so X is greater than or equal to, it's at five, so X is greater than or equal to five. All right, so for this problem, you were asked to solve it and then graph. So we have negative 19 is less than negative five plus B. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this minus five by adding the five over. So negative 14 is less than B, all right? Then I said before, I would like for you guys always to write your inequality on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna write B. It's opening towards my B, so it's gonna be opening here as well. And then it's greater than negative 14. And now I can go ahead at negative 14, I'll put an open circle and it's greater than, B is greater than negative 14. So it's gonna go to the right, all right? So for this problem, we have negative four, Sorry. We have negative four is less than n over seven. Well, remember this fraction bar means division. So we get rid of division by multiplying each side. So we get negative 28 is less than n. We do not flip our inequality here. We only flip it if we're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So then we write our variable. It's opening towards our variable. So it'll be opening towards our variable again. So it's greater than negative 28. So then at negative 28, it's going to be an open circle, not closed because it's not equal to, and it's greater than, so it's going to be going to the right. And if you're not sure which way to go, pick a number. Negative 26, is negative 26 greater than negative 28? Yes, so we go in that direction. Negative 32 is not greater than, so we will not go in that direction. All right, so for this one, this is exactly what we're doing with our equations, but now it's inequalities. We have this parentheses. So the first thing we need to do is we need to simplify this side of our inequality. So we will distribute the three in. So negative 116 is less than or equal to negative 21b, that's three times negative seven, plus three plus seven. A lot of people in the equations test were forgetting to distribute it to the second part. Make sure you do that this time. So negative 116 is less than or equal to negative 21b. Well, three plus seven is 10, so plus 10. Then we're gonna go ahead and subtract over the 10 over, subtract over the 10. So it's negative 126 is less than or equal to negative 21b. And then the last thing that we will do is we're gonna divide each one by negative 21, All right? So when we divide by negative 21, I know that that inequality is now going to flip. So it was once opening up towards my variable, it's now going to be closing towards my variable, All right? And now we will go ahead and divide. Well, we know negative divided by negative is gonna give me positive. And 21 goes into 126 six times. So B is less than or equal to six. But now remember, we wanna write our B on the left-hand side. So B is less than or equal to six, All right? Let me erase this B and rewrite it so it's a little bit neater. Um, but we just rewrote our variable on the left-hand side. And since it was closing towards our variable, it's gonna be closing towards our variable here as well. So we will go to six, we color in our circle, it's less than, so we're going to the left, All right? And if you're not sure how to divide 126 by 21, All right? We see that it ends in a six, so we know it's gonna be divisible by three. So we can go ahead and divide this by three. 
divide this by three, which is then going to be equal with three goes into 12 four times, three goes into six twice, three goes into 21 seven times, and then 42 over seven you should know is equal to six. All right, same thing as the last one. We have this parentheses, so we need to simplify the side first. We'll distribute the three in. Um, you could actually divide by three first, but I'm just going to go ahead and distribute it in. So it'll be 9K minus 24 is less than or equal to negative 87. I'm going to go ahead and add over this 24 to simplify, start simplifying my problem. So 9K is less than or equal to negative uh, 63. And then the last step is to divide each side by 9. Even though this is negative here, we do not need to flip it because we're dividing by a positive 9. So K is less than or equal to negative 7. So then we'll go to where negative 7. So if this is negative 6 and negative 8, this is negative 7 here. It's equal to, so it's a colored in circle. It's less than negative 7, so it's going to the left. All right, so for here, we have parentheses on both sides. So same thing as with our equations. We need to simplify both sides. So this gives me 2n minus 16, sorry. 2n minus 16 is greater than or equal to 8 times 7 is going to give me 56, and then 8 times n is plus 8n. All right, now, whenever I solve these, I like putting my n's on my left-hand side. So since I have variables on both sides, I'm going to move my variable to the left side. So I'm going to subtract 8n from both sides. This gives me negative 6n minus 16 is greater than or equal to 56. 56. All right, so now I'm going to move my constant to the right-hand side. I need it on the opposite side. So I'll add 16 to both. So this will then give me negative 6n is greater than or equal to uh, 72. And now I'm going to divide each side by negative 6. So since I'm dividing by a negative summer, number on both sides, we need to change our inequality. And 12 or 72 divided by 6 is going to be 12. A positive divided by negative is negative 12. So that means that negative 12, it's going to be a closed circle because it's equal to and it's less than. So it'll be going, let me redraw that. So then it'll be going to the left side. Wow, I can't draw this right now. So it'll be going to the left side. So that would then be your answer. All right, there's only two more questions I'm gonna go through in this video. If you need any help on any of the other ones, try and watch what I did on any of the questions I did cover and see if you can apply it to the question you don't know or just reach out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is distribute to eight in. So seven times eight is 56. So 56 n plus eight is greater than two times negative five is negative 10 n and two times four is plus eight. All right, so now, even though this was a negative here, we do not flip our inequality because we would need to be multiplying the same number to both sides. We're not. All right, now I'm going to move my 10 to this side here. So I'll get 10 n, so give me 66 n plus eight is greater than eight. Now I need to move my 8 to the other side, so minus 8, minus 8, so I get 66n is greater than, well, 8 minus 8 is 0. Now this was a lot of mistakes that were made on the test uh, for the equations. You guys have stopped here. Who said n was equal to 66? Well, it's being multiplied by 66, so we need to divide by it. So 0 divided by any number is 0, so this is n is greater than 0. So at 0, we will put an open circle, not closed, because it's just greater than and not equal to, and we're going to the right side because it is greater than. All right, last question. All right, so this one's a little bit more. So we have some uh, two parentheses, so we need to distribute. So it'll be 8x minus 16x plus 10. A lot of people on your test, negative times negative is going to give us a positive. Do not forget. Is less than or equal to? Well, we distribute the negative 3 in, so it'll be negative 3 minus 21x. All right, now I need to simplify this side. So I can combine 8x minus 16x. That is minus 8x plus 10 is less than or equal to negative 3 minus 21x. I'm going to move all of my variables to the left side. All right, um, so when I move this over, it's minus 21x. So I'm going to add 21x to the left-hand side. So then negative 8x plus 21 will give me 13x plus 10 is less than or equal to negative 3. All right, so since I moved my variable to the left, I need to move my constant to the right. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So that way this cancels. So now I'm left with, let's just finish this up here. It'll be 13x is less than or equal to negative 13. We'll divide each side by 13. x is less than or equal to negative 1. Right now, we'll go ahead and graph this. So it'll be negative 1. It'll be a closed circle. Less than, it is going to the left-hand side. All right, that is it for this video. If you need any help, please send me a message.